Now we're on to dividing decimal numbers. If you know how to do long division, sweetie, it's going to be okay. If you don't know how to do long division, you're in for a very difficult time. Let's start off with some nice things. It's really nice if you're dividing by whole numbers. If you're dividing by integers, everything is nice. For example, if I have this, if I say I'm dividing 7 into 49.91. We're just dividing by 7, right? So, we don't need to worry about doing anything crazy here, but you do need to make sure you pay attention to your decimal. Your decimal just comes straight up, straight above that. And then you just do long division. Don't, you don't worry about decimals anywhere else. Just do long division. So does 7 go into 4? No. Does 7 go into 49? So then 7 goes above that 49, or above the 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. So we subtract. And we end up with 0, so we bring down the rest of the numbers. 9 and 1. Does 7 go into 9? Yeah, it goes in one time. So there's the 1, so 1 times 7 is 7. So when I subtract that off, I end up with a 2, bring down the 1, and then 7 goes into 21 three times. So 3 times 7 is 21. And I have a remainder of 0. So is that too bad? No, how can we check our work? Right, we can check this by multiplying the quotient times the divisor. So 7.13 times 7, so 7 times 3 is 21. Then we get a 9, 7 times 7 is 49. I have two decimal places here, none here. So all together, two decimal places so everything checks out. Now, I think we need to go back and make sure that we are neat and we line things up correctly. Uh, so let's do that for the next example whenever I rewrite this. If I give you 2.76 divided by 3, if you had to estimate this, How would you round 2.76? You say this is about 3 divided by 3 is what? One. 1. So I expect an answer somewhere around 1, right? Now I'm going to slip this piece of paper underneath here to give me nice columns so I can line everything up. Remember, neatness is very important. It keeps things in order and it keeps you from getting things off. So 2.76 divided by 3, so let's just write this out here. So 3 divided into 2.76. Notice how I'm keeping everything lined up. Since I'm dividing by an integer, I'm just going to move my decimal point up to be right here. <coughs> Does 3 go into 2? No. So we need to go and put this lead off 0 here. That would be good for us. But 3 goes into 27 how many times? Nine. The most it can go in there is 9 times. So 9 times 3 is 27. So we subtract that. We get 0. Bring down the 6. See how we keep everything lined up very nicely? Then 3 goes into 6 how many times? Just twice. So minus 6, I get my remainder of 0. So this is my answer. What do you guys think? Do you have to put the 0? 
You don't have to put the zero, but I think when you do, it helps emphasize that the decimal point is here. And it's usually a lot better. And a lot of times in textbooks, you're going to see that. Um, I, I, sometimes I forget to put that, and it makes it look ugly. I like having the zero there. But with the zero or without the zero, it still means the same thing. And again, if you want to check this, it shouldn't take too long to just come over here to the side and take the 0 0.92 times the divisor of 3. So that's 6. 3 times 9 is 27. You have two decimal places here, none here. I have two of my answers. So I do get the dividend, which is 2.76.